Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be making square braid paracord keychain. Uh, got a little hook on there instead of a key ring. You take your first piece, make sure it's even, so you run it like long ways. And then put that little thing right in the center. So this, that loop right there is in the center. You take your second piece, you pull it tight. And then you lay it over top. Just like that, so that the center makes an X. You take one of the bottom ones, and you throw it over the one that goes over top of your key ring. You take the other one, and you throw it over the top. And then you take the one that runs underneath right here, underneath of this that you threw over, you take it, and you put it over this. You start to pull it tight. And then this one, right here, you take the last piece that hasn't been thrown over, pull it tight. And then from there, you just work your way down tight. Work it piece by piece. Pull every single one individually. That way they're evenly tight. And it should start to form something that looks kind of like an X. And if it, that's not what it looks like when you're done, then you might want to restart. Maybe try again. Uh, if you can't get it, Within a few tries, I would say comment and I will make a different video. But after you get the first one, it's easy. You always just start with one, put it over, take the other one, put it over. And then you take one, the top ones, put it under. Then the last one, you take it and you put it over and through. And then you just slowly work it tight and you know i've been heard this is called a lot of different things uh i know some even like junior like rotc people like they use this knot and they they put it on like i don't know what it's called but they have it over their shoulder but couldn't tell you what it's called um so you just you do that and then you pick one and you throw it over you pick another one has to be the ones that are across from each other it can't be this one and this one it has to be this one and this one or this one and this one so then once you've done that you take one of the other two you throw it over feed it under and then you take the other one over and feed it through and then you work your way tight and you take one just throw it over that's all you gotta do so you, you take two of them and it'll look like that you just want them to lay side by side take the third one and that basically all it is is they're holding each other down so you do that you feed it over and under. And then you take the, the last one, you feed it over and under. And then you work them tight. You just work them tight. And then after it'll start to look like this, but you just take one over, over, and then take this one over top of the, that one, and then through. And then you take the last one over, under, and 
and just work them tight one by one. Make sure you get them all tight because otherwise you'll have one bump that's bigger. But you just pull them tight. And that's, that's what it ends up looking like. If you need uh, a longer video, I can make a longer one. But I, that's just, that's really just of it. If you can get this down, you can make them as long as you want. But it's pretty easy. It's square knot, whatever you want to call it. I call it a square braid because, in my opinion, it's never really knotted because you just pull one and they all come out, basically. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching.